Typical Chuffin Road closed. There's a sign there that says that as well. Hey ho! We'll go this one. Woohoo! Crikey! Oh, ow! God! Full on can't do it. Cannot get down that way. You absolute muppet. So it's official, I'm now riding around in circles. Well, it's not gone very well so far, is it? I've taken two wrong turns, hit a chuffing road close sign, and been down what seems to be like a road that belongs somewhere in the Himalayas. Right, after much dithering around with road closures, wrong turns and whatnot, I am now on the road I should have been on about 15 minutes ago. So should we try this again? Good evening, YouTube. Island Biker here, and this is my response to the 3R challenge issued to me by the glorious Motor Rev. So to find out why I ride the Tracer 700, check back in after the intro. So the 3R challenge has been issued to me by Motor Rev. Uh, I'm going to get you back for that, Mr. Motor Rev. Wait till the end, if you would. <laughs> I know you do. You always watch my stuff, and I'm very, very chuffed that you do. So cheers for that. Uh, and uh, he challenged me to do not just my tracer, but to do both of my bikes. Uh, as you may know, I have the FJR 1300 as well. So I'm going to split that into two videos because, you know, why, why wouldn't you? And uh, I'm going to start with why I ride the Yamaha Tracer 700. Uh, worth a little bit of background. I've had this bike for about two and a half years. Yeah, two and a half years. And uh, I have done around 9,000 miles on it in that two and a half years. It primarily lives on the island with me and my other bike is kept over on the mainland, uh, which is why she's only done just a little bit of mileage, 9,000 in two and a half years. Yeah. To be fair, I did the first 7,000 of that in the first year. Uh, I've owned her from new, picked it up with about four miles on the clock back in February 2016. 2016, 2017, 2017. Yeah, back in 2017. And uh, I'll be honest, when I got it, I absolutely loved it. I occasionally get in two minds about whether to keep it or not. Uh, I'm going to cover all of that in a separate video. So I'm supposed to give you three reasons why I ride this particular bike. And I think I would like to start with something gloriously technical, like loving that uh, twin engine with its 260, uh, 270 degree off-center crankshaft. And oh, I love the way the riding position is ergonomical yet sporty. But actually, the first reason is, it's blue. Yep. Because it's blue. And it's not just a little bit blue. It's really blue. Like, blue, blue, blue. So yeah, it's blue. I think it's a stunning colour. And when I walked into the showroom, that's what got me this bike. It attracted my eye straight away. So probably not the first thing you should look for when buying a vehicle of any sort. Um, but uh, yeah, I didn't look for it, it found me. And there she was, sat in the showroom. It was a registered bike, but it had no mileage on it. It wasn't a demo, it was just a fact, uh, it was a showroom bike. Now the second reason um, it's taken me a, a couple of years to discover and it's probably partly why I'm keeping this bike for certainly at least another year. Uh, and that's its versatility. It really is a kind of a jack of all trades, if you like. She rides a little bit like a baby adventure bike. You can load it up nicely with lots of bits and pieces. You can see that I've got a, a tank bag and some panniers and a top box and whatnot. Uh, you can strip all that off and you've got kind of a half fed naked bike, if that's a thing. It's nimble when you need it to be nimble. It's great at low speed. 
it's easy to ride, the clutch is responsive. Um, it's just an all-rounder great bike, I think. It's so versatile that there are companies making all imaginable aftermarket accessories for this. Everybody from Jivy, Touratech, there's, there's a whole host of stuff on here. Um, so that usability becomes huge. You know, I could go through a list of all the stuff I've bolted to it. There's sat-nav bars, GoPro mounts, uh, these little wing mirrors on the end, um, the tank bags, tank bag straps, engine bars, just tons and tons and tons of stuff. Some of it's really good. Some of it's a bit chip shop, but um, is what it is. So yeah, that's the second reason I think I ride the Tracer is it is an incredibly versatile little bike. I'm gonna filter that, but I'm kind of sat here talking to you. So yeah. Reason number three is the engine, and I can't really demonstrate it here because I'm in traffic. Oh, and it's a 30 zone, so you know that. But in all fairness, uh, 700 and CC, I think it's 698 and some change. That's 74 horsepower. There's a lot of torque on it. There's a good amount of pull. You can chuck it around quite easily. Six speed transmission. When you need it to, it pulls like a train. And yet you can get it into sixth on the motorway and quite happily sit at you know, motorway speeds comfortably without it revving the arse off it. So, I really like that. There's a lot of torque right the way through. There seems to be a little bit of, <laughs> of extra torque when you get up to sort of nine, ten thousand, uh, which I've never noticed before until this one time on a slip road when I found it and it terrified me. Uh, the front wheel did lift a little bit in second. That's a story for another video. Uh, but yeah, it's um, it's a it's a an engine that I feel punches above its weight. All in all, she's a great all-round bike she does everything i need it to do one of those things i needed to do is stand in for the fjr when i have to bring the fjr over for some tlc or service or whatnot uh, all the mileage and all the hard work that i do on the island uh, sorry on the mainland side this one just takes in its stride good solid bike and i love it and i do keep umming and ahhing about whether i'm going to change it and what i'd change it for and uh, I don't know, it just seems, I don't need to change it. it. Does everything I need it to do. And if it doesn't do something, there are things that I can buy to bolt to it, which will help. So yeah, pretty happy. So there's my three reasons. I now have to do the same for the FJR. That's a bit tricky, because there's about a hundred reasons I love that bike. I'm gonna have to pick the top three. Mm. Now part of the three R challenge, R3, 3R, R3, don't know. But part of that challenge is I have to nominate three other motor vloggers to do the same thing. So, here we go. I'm gonna start with the easy one first. The Gorilla Biker. Uh, I would like you to do the same thing, but for your phaser, because you got nominated by Motor Rev and you've got two bikes, yet you seem to have got off lightly. So, yeah, I'd like you to do the uh, 3R challenge uh, on your phaser. Uh, by the way, love the one on the Super Magna. Um, that looks like a lot of fun, that bike, uh, and great video as well. So, yeah, and if you haven't subscribed to Mr. The Gorilla Biker, go ahead and do it. He makes some cracking videos and he's a funny chap. Oh, and go following him on Instagram as well. He takes some amazing pictures, um, always worth a look. So that's number one, the Gorilla Biker. The next chap I'm gonna nominate, I'm gonna nominate after I have finished the entire length, the entire length of the Isle of Wight motorway. Two lanes of freedom for about 40 seconds. This is so quick, I'm not going to time lapse it. I'm going to film this in real time because I don't want you to miss a single yard of this dual carriageway, the only dual carriageway in the island. Nice trike.
didn't even cane it. Oh! And 40! Oh! There we go, we're at the end of the Isle of Wight Highway. My favourite highway on the island. It's not a highway, it's like dual carriageway for like <laughs> half a kilometre. Ridiculous. Gets rid of the cobwebs occasionally though. The next person I'd like to nominate for the three hour challenge is someone I know who doesn't make many videos. I don't know if that's because he stopped making videos, taking a break. I know the guy is absolutely rammed with stuff. There's a whole lot of uh, things he's got going on. Um, but uh, it's the Jersey biker. I'm hoping this will tempt you out of vlogging retirement, mate. Uh, I'd love to see what you come up with. I think you've only got to read about three of your Instagram posts to realize why you're riding that big old GSA. Um, but come on, make a video and tell us all. It'd be kind of cool. Uh, but no pressure. But it's a challenge, so you have to do it. But only if you've got time. But you should do it really soon. If you've got nothing else on. But if you have, cancel all that stuff. Do this. It's way cooler. But it probably isn't because you do like off-road things and, and all the rest of it. Maybe you could do this whilst you're going off-road, but only if it doesn't detract from what you're actually doing. This shouldn't detract from your riding. So maybe you just sit down and do it. Maybe on the sofa looking at your bike. I'm overthinking this. Dude, it'd be cool if you did one, but you know, no pressure at all. Uh, third person going to nominate. Evening, misery guts third person I'm going to nominate is Motor Rev. Yes, you cheeky little monkey telling me to do two of my bikes. But wait, I hear you say I've already done one and it, yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. I love your bike. It's awesome, by the way. Um, however, there are three other people in your crew with three bikes in total. That's nine reasons from three people about why they ride three different bikes. Think of it as an opportunity to conduct some live action interviews whilst on your bikes. Yeah, just a thought. I think it might be funny. Maybe pick one. I'd be interested in the... No, or the, the beam of the trace. I forget who rides what. I'll find out soon though, because you guys are coming over. Can't wait for that. But yeah love to see what you'd come up with on that. It's, I'll keep it loose. Yeah, do as many of the bikes as you want with as many of the reasons. Um, three bikes, one reason from each. I don't know. And then you can nominate me to do my kids push bikes or something. <laughs> but go for it. It'll be awesome. Anyway, in summary, the Gorilla Biker, the Jersey Biker, please, 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 that'll be cool. And Motorev, a million bikes, 400,000 reasons. Go do it. And uh, on that note, I'm going to take myself off because I seem to be in some kind of weird giddy mood. And uh, I'm going to ride and I'll film a bit of the riding and it'll be nice. Oh man, that's pretty. Big storm clouds over there. Squirrel! Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's all a bit of a laugh, isn't it? Uh, I've enjoyed making this one and I'm going to try and get it out as soon as I can. Um, the links to the channels of the people that I have nominated to do their challenge are in my description below. Please go and support them. They're all good guys and they support other vloggers and those other vloggers support other vloggers and it's just, it's a great community. So if you're out there, if you're remotely interested in motorcycles or motor vlogging, just go and check out some of these guys and follow their channels, subscribe, like their videos, share their videos, find them on Facebook. We're all chatty, we'll all respond, we all have a bit of banter and a bit of giggle. And uh, in all of that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel too. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you all on the next one. Bye bye!